doesn't wear a shiny suit or fly across the screen. He doesn't wear his underpants outside his jeans. He doesn't change in phone booths or climb up walls. He's 12 years old and he's four feet tall. And here he comes now. The new superhero. Here he comes now. It's Terry Dio. Terry Dio. Oh, oh, oh. Terry Dio. Terry Dio. Well, I'd managed to get away from Vegas and his mates, but I didn't really know where I was going, which was probably just as well. Get after him, somebody! Get him! Anyway, I just kept running. Cow Patty isn't the best place to get chased by villains in. They've got a policeman, but you can never find him when you want him. And the day I got in trouble, all the other locals were busy with their fear. Plenty of people, but nobody to help. Head, look! It's Terry! The bad guys were still after me. unusual situation. Most unusual. And calls for unusual measures. We are going to have to interrogate that midget and find out what the game is. Here you are, crawling about like a nong as usual. What the? Come on, we haven't got all day. You have a crack at getting the kid, I'll go and stop the car. Chuck him in the sack. He's over there. Who? Oh. <laughs> Seems we've got an existential dilemma here. It's not him. I've been trying to tell you, Jokers, that for ages. Blimey, <laughs> some people. Hey, Terry! Ted! Joyce! Good to see you, Sprout! Yeah! Hey, let's get Polly and go for the cops! Where'd she get to, then? She was just over here a minute ago. <laughs> truck this time. Now, you get into town and hunt up that copper while I get cracking. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, what copper? Cousins, let's get ourselves some natural justice, eh? Yeah! Well, that's that then. He 
to give you much trouble. Trouble? Sweet, you can say that again. If I hadn't crept up behind her, I'd never got her in this sack. Yeah, the little bleeder's got a lot of fight in him for his size. Hang on a minute. Did you say she? <laughs> Is the leader of your organization? How many members do you have? And what are your annual membership fees? I? <clears throat> I think you might have the wrong page there. Why don't you ask him about the violins? Um, wait. What do you know about the violins? You'd better tell us everything. What are you on about? You mates of Vegas. Ha! So you admit it. Did you hear that, Norman? He admits he works for Vegas. Uh, Arthur, uh, a word in your ear. Unless I'm very much mistaken, this isn't a midget at all. It's a young lad. Yes, I must admit I've had my suspicions. Jove, what depths these enemies of society will sink into, enlisting a child into their ranks. Norman, he's making a break for it. After his in the name of the power! Well, what we need to do now is decide what exactly we've got in the way of suspicious characters around here. Well, there's old McWilliams over at the electricity substation. George at the store says he never pays his bills on time. Did you see that? Ooh, I wouldn't mind having one of those in the carriage. Don't think much of us driving, though. By God, oh. you guys are in for it! You can't get my brother! Oh, give us a break! Man's not welcome to game kill! What are we gonna do with that? How should I know? You fat ah, you little twerp! Oh, yeah. Maybe the boss will have an idea! Ah. Crikey, Dick, Len, we've ruled out everybody in town. No, Fred, what we're really looking for is somebody desperate enough. Some sort of out-of-towner. Somebody with no respect for the values of quiet country life. My God, that's exactly the sort of thing I've been talking about. It's like I could be onto something here, Len. What's this, then? Hey, mate. We've got a bit of... Oh, here. Put the ring around that, sir. There's a serious crime being committed, and I'm about to investigate a group of motorised suspects. And if you don't move that truck out of my way, I'll run you in for obstruction. But I've lost my sister. Oh, it happens all the time around here, sir. Nothing to worry about. We had a similar case here this morning. Now, move! But... Move! Yeah, but... Move! But... Move! Such cunning in one so young. Listen, we'll let 
get you out! Is that a promise? Oh. Okay. Who are those blokes? Well, they look mean. They're the guys who own those bikes you took. Looks like they're after your blood. Oh. Oi, this is gonna be good! <laughs> do with this joke of Vegas. Vegas? Ray Vegas? Yeah. He's the other loony. He kidnapped me and tied me up. And then I got away. And he's a real villain. No, no, hey, got... easy, son, easy. You're, you're safe now. Look, uh, why don't you go aft and open up a tube of... Oh, no, 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 hang on. Um, look, we've got some coffee in the galley. Go and fix yourself. Oh, right, it's just... Like... Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it. I just got a call to make. Won't be a minute. Shattuck to money bag. Shattuck to money bags. Before about obstruction. Now get out of the way, or I'll check your warrant of fitness. Hang on, mate. My cab's flooded. <laughs> Righto, sir. Let's see your license. Later, mate. I'm in a bit of a hurry. We all see. <laughs> and we all. By the... They're still following us. Why don't we give ourselves up to the cops? Oh, oh. You're not such a bad bloke after all. Ah, oh, shut up, you. All right, all right. I didn't mean it. Nah. We'll get back to the house, pick up a couple of those violin cases. 
Then we'll blow these coots away like in a thunderstorm. Gee, this is really good of you. Well, that's all right, sport. I'll never like to see a bloke stuck. I got a cover come to meet you. Fantastic! I'll get a lift off him. Of... Here he comes now. <laughs> it you mentioned about some suspicious characters, intruders, yeah. trying to get in on the operation. Yeah, that's right. The kid mentioned them. You have a decade through these. Where? They're still out there. <coughs> on the pedal watch it, see? On the pedal watch it. Ah, uh, yes, I see what you mean. Hey, wait a minute. I recognize those two. They're spies. I knew I was right to have my suspicions about those two. <laughs> so what's the story then, mate? You'll have to take very good care of them, Captain. <laughs> Possession of this vessel. How's that, Norman? Got a nice sound to it, hasn't it? Oh, stirring words, Arthur. Stirring words. Try it with the <clears throat> manual shut. By the authority in me. Wait a minute. There's something happening on deck, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I 
took off after you. Head to the police. You ought to be one any minute now, I reckon. The rat bag that owns that house happens to be a very prominent businessman. You reckon? Well, let's go and have a chat with your very prominent businessman, shall we? Come on, he's right down here. Dad, they've got guns, remember? Stay out of this, Paul. Well, come on, Sergeant. All right. <laughs> All right. Um... We'll go in and, yeah, we'll have a quiet uh, chat with Mr. Vegas and uh, we'll sort it all out. Right. Right. Ted, be careful. <laughs> Drives the fastest. 